All right, guys and gals, got some special news for you today. Check the tracking, and guess who's coming today? A new addition to the museum. He's been waiting a long time to see you guys, so I want you all to give him a very nice welcome. Yes, even you, Chuzilla. Yes. So, he should be here any minute. So, you all better be nice and let him join the museum and let him meet his new family and we all have a fun time together. You guys hear that? I think he's here. Chula! Chula! You want to go see who it is? Pika! Alright, let's go check. Chew and Tell Tuesdays. Well, this Tuesday's episode is something very exciting. I've been waiting for this guy for several months now, as you all know, and he is going to be one of my most prized Pikachus. Um, I spent $433 on this guy, but I hope he's well worth the money. I'm sure he is. He's made by Stipe, which is a company in Germany who's they're infamous for their teddy bears. They've been making them for years. And they came out with a limited edition 1500 Pikachu, Japan only. So thanks to my friend who runs Cool Nippon is her shop. Check her out. Um, she got him for me. So without further ado, the way has been going on long enough. So let's open him up. I'm sure he's ready to come out and join the museum. All right, here we go. All right, just going to be very careful here. one side. it comes in is really cool. All right. Okay. Put that over there. Well, here's the box that he came in. Um, it's one of Stice boxes. You can see their logo right here. And yeah, I guess not only did they do teddy bears, obviously, because they did Pikachu. I think they also did a Hello Kitty and they did a Godzilla, too. Um, they also do, looks like they do squirrels, rabbits, monkeys, chickens, it looks like a Dotson, um, donkey. So I guess they do all kinds of things, but they're most infamous for their teddy bears. And they actually go quite high. Uh, if you have one of the original ones, you're sitting on a gold mine. Uh, I know one went on eBay for a couple million dollars a few years ago in some of the auction houses. So, who knows what this little guy will be, say, 20 years from now when Pokemon has their 40th anniversary. But, I don't think I'll ever let mine go. So, here we go. Alright, I'll turn the box around. Okay. There he is! Oh my gosh, he's so cute! You ready to come out of your hibernation? Oh my gosh, he's so adorable. There he is, guys. You ready? There he is. <laughs> Come out, little guy. Oh, he 
he's so adorable. Wow, he's a lot heavier than I thought he would be. He's actually quite firm. Not as soft as I thought either. It's more like kind of coarsey feeling. Kind of feels like my chihuahua I used to have. It's a kind of it's actually a goat hair, I think, is mohair. There he is. <laughs> There's the front. There's the side. I'll show him your tail whip. <laughs> and peek a butt. There's this other side. Okay. And he's got his little tag, made in Germany, Stife Company. And he has another tag here. Um, it's written in a bunch of different languages. Um, he was checked by person number 004. <laughs> kind of would have been funny if it was 007, right? Um, <laughs> this is funny. This product is not a toy. It is intended for adult collectors only. <laughs> well, I certainly hope so, because if this little guy got in the hands of any of my customers at the toy store I work at, yeah, he would be shredded. And then I would have to go after them and probably use them as a speed bump with the peak bug. <laughs> But here he is, and he's got his little tag here. He's also articulated or um, jointed. He can move his arms. Hi guys! <laughs> and there he is. Let's see what else he came with. Okay, here's the envelope. I guess this is a satisfaction guaranteed. I'd say I'm pretty satisfied with him. Okay. Let's see. Stife Pikachu. Uh, yellow, 23 centimeters. Uh, limited edition, 1500. He was made in 2015. Um, of course, we recommend you that you keep this information. Item and certificate made in Germany, 2015. All new material, covering 47% mohair, 53% cotton, and the filling, I guess, is polyester. So, <laughs> I'm actually getting a nice glass case for him, so we can keep all the dust binaries out of him. Yeah, we don't want you to get any dust binaries, do we? <laughs> and then, here's the actual certificate, right here. I'll go ahead and read what it says. It says... Stife Certificate, Stife Pikachu, yellow 25 centimeters, limited edition of 1,500 pieces. Stife teddy bears and animals are absolutely heartwarming because our designers put their heart and souls into planning and creating them. Our products are the result of impeccable craftsmanship and are made of the finest materials in a unique Stife design, with lots of loving attention to detail. Yeah, I said there's a lot of detail there. This is how we create one-of-a-kind pieces. Only after careful inspection of the flawless quality and manufacturing will they receive the legendary button and ear. After they leave our company with this distinctive award, these teddy bears and animals can then pass on the love and affection to someone else that they received while they were being created by the many experienced, the diligent, and gentle hands here at Stife. You have purchased a Stife product that has been manufactured in a strictly limited edition. It's consecutively numbered ear tag and the button and ear distinguish it as a limited edition product, which emphasizes its extraordinary charm. Yeah, I'd say you're pretty charming. <laughs> you're cute. As always, when you select a product by Stife, you can be assured that it's something very special. We hope that you will enjoy it for many, many years to come. And he is actually number 501 out of 1500. So... Yep, there he is. <laughs> He's so cute. There you go, Chula. You got a new friend. Yeah, you guys are about the same size. <laughs> so, there you go, Chula. <laughs> Aw, he's cute. So, there you have it. He is here. And thank you guys for watching another episode of Chew and Tell Tuesdays. Um, Train on, guys, and again, happy 20th anniversary, Pokemon. Bye-bye.